A new story is being written on the world map, not with ink, but with earth movers and ambition. In the narrowest part of Mexico, a $50 billion canal, backed by Chinese investment, is set to create a new maritime highway between the Atlantic and Pacific. This is more than a construction project. It's a direct challenge to the Panama Canal and a bold move in global trade. The Tehuantepec Canal could reshape supply chains, economic alliances, and the flow of goods worldwide. By offering a modern alternative, it introduces competition and resilience to a strained system. It's a testament to China's growing role as a global infrastructure powerhouse. The canal promises faster shipping, lower costs, and a new era for global trade, but not without risks. This high-stakes gamble pits economic opportunity against environmental and social challenges, forcing us to ask, what is the true price of global connectivity? In this video, we'll explore the history, engineering, politics, and stakes behind this colossal undertaking. To grasp the Tehuantepec Canal's impact, let's look at history. The Suez Canal, completed in 1869, connected Europe and Asia, slashing travel times and fueling global trade. The Panama Canal, opening in 1914, linked the Atlantic and Pacific, transforming shipping and U.S. power. These canals didn't just move ships, they moved ideas, people and power, becoming strategic assets and flashpoints for conflict. Control over these routes has always meant geopolitical influence. The Tehuantepec Canal is the next chapter, a modern answer to the needs of today's super vessels and globalized economy, but this time, it's China, not a Western empire, driving the ambition. The logic remains, connect two great oceans at their narrowest point and you change the world. The stakes, as always, are global. The Isthmus of Tehuantepec, Mexico's narrowest land strip, has long been eyed for its strategic potential. The plan, a canal, new ports, industrial parks and a high-speed railway, turning a quiet region into a global trade hub. Unlike Panama, this canal is designed for the world's largest ships, offering a faster, more efficient route between Asia and the U.S. East Coast. For shippers that means days saved, lower costs, and tighter supply chains. The terrain is tougher than Panama's with seismic and hydrological challenges. Dreams of a canal here date back centuries but only now, thanks to Chinese capital and technology, does it seem possible. If built, it could redraw the economic map of the Americas, but the obstacles are as immense as the ambition. The Tehuantepec Canal is powered by China's Belt and Road Initiative, a global infrastructure push to expand trade and influence. For China, diversifying shipping routes is national security, especially as U.S. influence looms over the Panama Canal. A Chinese-backed canal in Mexico would reduce reliance on a single choke point and give China a strategic foothold near the U.S. This isn't just about trade, it's about shifting the balance of power in the Western Hemisphere. Chinese companies would likely gain preferential access, opening new markets and investment opportunities. The U.S. sees this as a direct challenge, intensifying the rivalry in its own backyard. As China pours billions into Latin America, the global order is being redrawn, one canal at a time. The engineering vision is staggering, a 200-mile canal, four times longer than Panama's, built for the world's largest ships. Massive locks will lift and lower vessels across rugged earthquake-prone terrain. New deep-water ports and a high-speed freight railway will create a seamless corridor for global trade. The canal's design must balance efficiency with resilience, handling seismic risks and complex water management. Supporting infrastructure will transform the region, enabling manufacturing and logistics hubs along the route. But the challenges are immense, advanced engineering, environmental safeguards, and the sheer scale of construction. Success will require not just ambition, but precision and innovation. The world is watching to see if this engineering marvel can become reality. The $50 billion price tag is beyond Mexico's reach alone. China's investment is crucial. For China, it's a strategic play securing trade routes, exporting expertise and expanding influence. For Mexico, the canal could spark economic transformation, creating jobs and new industries in the underdeveloped South. But the project unfolds amid fierce US-China rivalry, with Washington wary of Beijing's growing presence. The canal could become a flashpoint, with diplomatic and economic pressure from the US shipping companies are intrigued but cautious. They want reliability, security, and competitive costs. For the canal to succeed, it must outcompete Panama on value and stability. The stakes are high. If shippers aren't convinced, the canal could become a costly white elephant. The world's eyes are on this $50 billion wager. 
For Mexico, the canal is a chance to rebalance its economy and lift the South out of poverty. The Vision 10 new industrial parks, thousands of jobs, and a new era of prosperity for Oaxaca and Veracruz. But the route cuts through indigenous lands, raising fears of displacement and cultural loss. Many communities are skeptical, recalling past projects that brought more harm than good. Gaining trust and consent is a major challenge. Activists demand transparency, fair compensation and shared benefits. Without broad social consensus, the project risks protests, legal battles and delays. The canal's future may depend as much on social harmony as on engineering. The Tehuantepec Canal pits economic progress against environmental preservation. Construction would cut through biodiverse forests and wetlands, threatening endangered species and fragile ecosystems. Massive water use could disrupt local rivers and agriculture, while ship traffic risks pollution and invasive species. Environmentalists warn of irreversible damage, especially to the Chimalapas rainforest. Proponents promise mitigation, wildlife corridors, reforestation, and strict regulations. The real challenge is balance. Can such a mega-project coexist with nature? The debate is fierce. Prosperity for people, or preservation for the planet? The answer will define the region's future. Experts are divided. Economists see a new engine for global trade, reducing reliance on Panama and Suez. Geopolitical analysts warn of a Chinese power play, with security risks for the US environmentalists, and sociologists caution that the human and ecological costs could be catastrophic. Indigenous voices and conservationists urge a slower, more equitable approach. The canal's true legacy will be measured not just in cargo but in its impact on people and the planet. This is more than a story of construction, it's a reflection of our times, shifting power, urgent economic demands and environmental limits. The Tehuantepec Canal forces us to ask, can we balance ambition with stewardship? As this vision moves closer to reality, the world must decide what kind of future it wants. Will we prioritize efficiency or find a path that honors both progress and nature? The answer will shape not just Mexico, but the future of global trade.